Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have a slight haul to do today. Uh, this accumulated very quickly. I've got a couple books to share with you. So let's just jump in because this is gonna be a doozy. Alrighty, first package is one that I'm very excited over. So this is from Book Art Bookmarks. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm still a rep for them. And uh, they're, they're coming back. She's made some changes apparently. She has like an actual store now out on the other side of the country that I will likely never be able to visit, which pains me in my soul. Um, but yeah, she reached out and asked if I wanted to do another rep package and I said yes because if you guys are new here, these are my favorite bookmarks of all time uh, and I can't wait to share them with you. Oh, look how cute this is packaged. So I'm very excited to see what she chose to send to me. Um, I use these pretty much all the time and I have an obscene collection. They're hanging from my shelves up at the very, very top because I have cats and these are also ultimately cat toys. So oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, this first one, oh, the second one. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love all of them. Okay, I'm very excited for this. So this is how they come packaged. This might be my new favorite one of all time. Oh my God, this is stunning. This is beautiful. Let me take this out um, and I'll show you guys how it works because it has been a while since I have opened these on my channel or talked about them on my channel. So I'll show you how they work. They're really freaking cool though. Okay, it's out of the plastic and less reflecty and blindy for you. Look how stunning this is. It's a little crescent moon that is made out of like mother of pearl right here. Is that what that is? I wanna say that's what that is. That is beautiful. So this whole thing is on a stretchy elastic band and I will put it on a book to show you how it works. So taking it off of the packaging, it is just this thin elastic band that you basically, you grab a book, say this is like where you stopped, you just wrap it around the book. Bam. So when you get back to your book, it's in your spot. So you can just open the book right back up to where you are. It's very soft elastic, so it won't ever damage um, your pages. You can put it on hardcovers, you can put it on paperbacks. I've yet to find a book that this won't fit on. Um, and what I do like about these is you can bring them over and you can leave them on the spine of the book. So you can actually like put this back on your shelf with your spot still marked, but you can see, hey, I'm reading this. How beautiful is that one? I love that one. So there are four in this package. Let me show you the others. Okay, this next one for all of you crystal lovers out there, look at this beauty. So this is a full like clear crystal that stretches across both parts. This operates the same way, but I do have to say this is not very heavy. Like if you're concerned that this would potentially like slam against the cover of your book and damage it, it's not very heavy. This is just absolutely stunning. Look at that, look at it, it's so pretty. Next we have this adorable little daisy one on a yellow band. Look how cute that is. These look super cute on like naked hardcovers, like just with the dust jacket off and you just put this on there. It's so cute, look how cute it is. I like these chain connector ones, they're pretty cool. And then if that was too cutesy for you, don't worry, we've got a skull. I'm a big fan of this. I feel like this is a good balance for me because I love like the natural stone and crystal looking ones, but I like cutesy stuff and I like really dark things. So this is so cute. I will zoom in on this one so you can see the detail. This has a bird skull as like a dangly one, um, which is very fitting because this is also technically like the plague doctor mask, you know, what I'm talking about, which is very fitting for the time that we live in right now. So there is the detail on that one. It just dangles off. It just has like a lovely bird looking beak. This would look so cool on all of those like dark covers of like dark romance or like horror. I love it. So that is the rep package that I just got. I feel like that was a good variety of like styles and types that, oh, this is backwards and types that she has. Um, so thank you so much to Margo for sending these my way. Um, I will have her website linked down below. I still have a rep code in case you guys would like to order from her and get a discount. That will also be at the top of the description. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. Okay, the next thing I have is a package from Hello Lovely that didn't make it in time for my last haul that I did from them, but I know what this is and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. As soon as she showed us this design, I called dibs on it. Like before it had even been printed or made, I said, I want one of those. So this, oh, I love the colors. I love the colors. First of all, it's a tie-dye shirt. And this is the Fantasy Readers Club shirt. You know how I talked about in my last haul that I love all of her like Readers Club shirts, like the introverted ones, the like rom-com ones, dark romance, historical romance. She did a fantasy one 
I'm so excited. And it's on like this green and black or it's kind of, yeah, it's green and black um, t-shirt, but look at the back. Oh my gosh. It says stay wild and be free because new world's wonder and fate. And it has this lovely, I mean, let's be honest. This is Romulus. This is from uh, the Night Court. No, it's totally not. But that's what I'm going to think of it as because like this could be a star. That could be a star. That could be a star. Three stars. It could be the Night Court insignia. Okay, let me think that. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. So there is this and I want to say there is also a sweatshirt or a hoodie option of this that is also beautiful. It's in like this light blue color. Um, I, I'm dying. I love this so much. So as always, Hello Lovely is also going to be linked in the description in case you guys want to get your hands on this before they sell out because oh, the second she showed this to me. One, I'm obsessed with tie-dye. I'm so happy that it made a comeback in the fashion trends because I will literally live in tie-dye for the rest of my life. So I'm very excited that this is trendy again. And it's a fantasy readers club because that's what I read. Oh, I'm so excited over this. It's so pretty. Can we just take a second to appreciate how well this bookmark goes with this shirt? Like it's even like the dark green mother pearl looking tie dye thing with this shirt. I love accessorizing my reading accessories with my clothing, you know? Okay, let's get to some PO box stuff uh, because I've gone recently and picked up some things. So we've got this package from Cheryl in Roberta, Georgia. So let's take a look, see, and see what this is. See if I can open this without tearing it. I have no idea what this possibly could be based on your letter, but now I'm intrigued. I heard you say in one of your videos that you did not have any. You may be overstocked now. I had made some because I didn't like spending $4 a piece on them. I hope you like them. What is it? What'd you make? Um, <gasps> look how cute these are. Are these cover minders? Oh my gosh. <gasps> These are so cute. And uh, no, I'm not overly stocked on these. Okay, I'm gonna need to show you guys these. Okay, these, I just had to rearrange them because they slid all over with the magnets. So there are magnets taped to the back. These are cover minders. So I hauled a couple of these and it was a revolutionary video because if you guys remember that video, there is one that looks like sushi that said adopt on it. Cover minders are used for diamond painting. Um, and it's when you can basically peel back the plastic sheet that sticks to the glue um, to work on a section. And you use like this little magnet thing where there is a magnet attached to the back of one of these and then a little one that goes underneath of your painting and it just holds the plastic cover away from where you're working on. That's the basic concept of them. Um, and people make adorable ones. Like there are so many types out there and it's just like another accessory to really collect and add fun to the entire craft. But look how cute these are. There's two teddy bear ones. There's little ladybugs. The ladybugs are super cute. Like I'm just picturing using that. The one that I'm working on now is a butterfly and a flower. So adding a ladybug to the experience is just perfection. And then there's three buttons that are all really cool designs. Again, with the swirly, the green and the tie dye and the swirls. Ah, oh, we're staying on brand today. Thank you so much, Cheryl. These are so cute. Okay, we've got another package from Marissa. Feeling book-like, but I've been duped in the past, so I have no idea. Ooh, it's wrapped and there's a note. Let me read the note. Okay, I thought I recognized the wrapping paper. Marissa, you did not have to do this, so I kind of know what this is. Um, it might have been in that video that I hauled the cover minders too. I might be staying on brand right now with my own hauls. Uh, this is from the same girl who sent me that witches series that a lot of you guys were also freaking out about because the covers were so cute. They sound so good. Um, she found another one in a store. Um, this has never been witched. And this is, these are all by Annette Blair. I have them third, literally right back here on a stack. This is the third book after Sex and the Psychic Witch and Gone with the Witch in that series that I hauled earlier. Um, this is, you are, you're too kind. Thank you so much for finding this for me. Also, okay, whenever I'm in a used bookstore and I find the border stickers, I just have like a moment of like sad nostalgia. Let's just all take a moment of silence for borders. <sighs> I miss you borders. Um, I, I love seeing the border stickers. Thank you so much, Marissa. And good luck with your diamond painting. They do take a really long time. Like that huge one that I have hanging on my wall that took like months to do. And that was with like committing hours every single day. Oh, I want to read this right now. I don't know why. It's The series is just calling to me right now. This is a paranormal romance witch series that just has like the coolest nostalgic covers. 
I love them. I love them. This one also has a cat on it, so you know, it speaks to me. Okay, this next package I've totally already opened. I'm not gonna lie to you guys whatsoever, uh, just because it was book shaped and I didn't know what it was, so I opened it, but then I put it back in the package. I don't know why, to make it feel more exciting the second time around, um, but this is from Berkeley and it just, uh, I'm so excited. Um, so this is Maple Leaf Harvest by Katherine Anderson. Katherine Anderson is kind of up there with like Nora Roberts or like Jill Shalvis where she just writes a lot of like cozy romance. I couldn't not get this. This is part of the Mystic Creek series, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to read this whole series to like understand it. I probably will though, because these are like comfort books. You know how a lot of people read like cozy mysteries? I like cozy romance that are all book versions of Hallmark Channel movies, you know? Um, and I can't with this cover. Just look at it. It's this beautiful fall foliage and a bridge with a black cat walking across it. I am constantly on the hunt for fall themed books. You know how when like the holiday season rolls around, there's endless holiday books. There are so many like Christmas or snowy cabiny type books that just give you like all of the feels of the season. I am constantly looking for fall themed ones. And there are a few that like I associate with the fall but aren't specifically that and they're starting to come out with them. And I'm pretty sure this series has a lot of just seasonal books. Um, Katherine Anderson has written a lot of books. Uh, but the Mystic Creek series there's Silver Thaw, New Leaf, Mulberry Moon, Spring Forward, Strawberry Hill, Huckleberry Lake, and Maple Leaf Harvest. And I saw, I was in a bookstore yesterday, and I know like Spring Forward obviously is a very spring oriented book. Silver Thaw, I think is like End of Winter, New Leaf, like Mulberry Moon, Strawberry Hill, Huckleberry Lake. I think those are all very summery, but there's not many fall ones. So I jumped at the chance when this was offered to me, and I am so excited. I'm going to save this for another month. I'm not quite ready to give up summer yet, but like the Halloween chick in me is like starting to itch her way out. So I am very excited. Do I even know what this is about? No. I looked at the cover and I said, I need that in my life. Let's see. Lane Driscoll is having nightmares where she's chased by a strange man. Oh no. Love and New Beginnings Blossom in Mystic Creek, Oregon from the New York Times bestseller author of Huckleberry Lake. Um, she seeks refuge in beautiful Mystic Creek where she gets a job working at a local perfume shop. After she arrives, a handsome customer seems to think that he recognizes Lane but calls her by the wrong name. Oh man, this sounds good. It sounds like small town feels in the fall, which is all that I want in a book. And then this package was sent to me from BAM in exchange for my money, I'm just, I'm trying to act like I'm an influencer for Books A Million one day. If I speak it into existence, it'll happen, right? Uh, this is a pre-order that I got that I haven't opened just because these packages infuriate me. They have the perforation in the middle of the thing and it's also like that sticky inside stuff, like the entire inner part of the cardboard is glue. Who thought this was a good idea for books? Who thought that? I would like to speak with them. Instead, I'll just take out my anger on the package itself. It's fine. Did I just deafen you guys? Probably. Apologies. But this is my pre-order of A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. This is also the only other um, YA... Oh, ooh, what is this? What is this? Shelf worthy. Oh, it's just like swag and my receipt. That was less exciting than I thought it would be. Um, but anyway, this was one of my most anticipated books of the year because this is Dark Academia. It's Victoria Lee. I'm pretty sure this is sapphic. Um, and I want to say this is YA, but I wasn't sure. Oh yeah. After a year away, she's returned to finish high school. Okay. So yeah, we're following a senior in high school then. Um, and it follows Felicity Morrow, who is back at the Dalloway School. Perched in the Catskill Mountains, the centuries-old ivy-covered campus was home until the tragic death of her girlfriend. Yes, it's sapphic, it's dark academia, that's all I need to know. Look at this cover, look how beautiful it is. Look at this sad little moth or butterfly that is trapped in the spider webs. I just, oh, I was so excited. When this got announced last year, I literally pre-ordered it in like November of last year. And now it's here and I'm so excited. You know what, before I get to those boxes, I'm gonna get to the other books that I actually purchased for myself because technically that was one of them. I should, let me shift the camera around so I can like display things better. Alrighty, hi, yes, hello, we're over here. The shirt's back there, the bookmarks and the cover miners are still over here. The books are here now though, because I have room to put them there. So, okay, uh, other books that I bought myself this month, 
I couldn't resist this and I'm currently reading this. Um, I'm sure if you guys are on TikTok or I, it's making its way onto booktube as well, this book is everywhere and I needed it so badly while we're in the vein of uh, dark academia type stuff. This is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I keep wanting to say Olivia, but it's just Olivia. And basically this is what I am so excited over like social media's influence on like the book market being. Um, this book is an indie published like adult fantasy magic school type of book that swept social media. Like everybody's raving about it on TikTok, everybody's raving about it on booktube and bookstagram, and stores are finally starting to realize that we have influence on sales. And the fact that you can buy indie published books in Barnes & Noble or in Books A Million now is so exciting. It only took how many years of us like preaching about books on the internet for bookstores to catch on that like there's a there's a reason people have voices and platforms. So like oh, the fact that like there are book talk tables in bookstores now is so exciting. So moral of the story, this is one of the non-romance books that has made its way onto the shelves, but I'm pretty sure there's still a dark romance in this, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I'm not very far. This is where I am in the book. Um, but this is everything that I want. This was one of the few books that like I literally got it in the mail, opened the package, and sat down and immediately started reading it. And I got uh, like, oh these aren't numbered, probably six-ish chapters in. But basically all I know is that there's this guy who is going around and offering a position where there's only five of these positions available to the entire population of like magicians. And he's offering it to basically like the best of the best of each like job or like category of magician. So like a naturalist, um, there's like a physicist, there's a telepath. So I'm basically just meeting the characters at this point and I know it has something to do with like the Library of Alexandria. All I've basically heard is that this is amazing. So I, I bought this and I am ridiculously excited to continue on. Like I opened the package, sat down and started reading and haven't stopped thinking about it since. So. I got that and I am so excited. I also was in Ollie's the other day and it's been a while since I've picked up a book in Ollie's, but I got this because it's The Circus Rose by Betsy Cornwall. I think this is YA, but it has circus tents on the cover. It's, it's a book that I'm probably gonna always want. It follows twins, Rosie and Ivory, who grew up at their ringmaster mother's knee. Always a double act, Rosie performing on stage, Ivory working behind the scenes. It's a circus book and it was $2.99. I have to figure out how to take this sticker off because it's given me some issues. I'm gonna do the heat technique, I think, this time because normally I've got a whole slew of techniques of getting stickers off of books and for some reason this one's just giving me some lip. Not a fan of you. You gots to go. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, about this. And then the last book that I have purchased for myself recently before I get into those boxes of like wrap packages um, is one that I am really excited that I found a copy of. Basically, whenever anthologies come out in the romance world, they usually sell out really quickly, they're very, very expensive, and they're very sought after. So I usually like kind of just avoid all of the hubbub with like big releases, and I keep an eye out in all of the like trade and sale groups that I belong to. And this finally popped up. I was so excited. This is Tales of Darkness and Sin. This is an anthology of dark romance, and I've been reading dark romance recently. It's been like my newest genre that I've been trying out. And this first off came with um, four author plates. Um, so I think this is Sierra Simone, Jade West, Alethea Roaming, and if you know who this is, Kay something. Hold on, let me look through. Is Kay Webster? Are you serious? I just read Whispers and the Roars by Kay Webster. That's exciting. That's who that is. So it came with four book plates, um, but this has a bunch of stories that are all co-authored by dark romance authors. So we have like Alethea Roaming, Sky Warren, A. Jade, A. Zavalieri, um, Gianna Darling's in here, Cora Riley's in here. Um, oh my god, Gianna Darling and Sierra Simone co-wrote a story in here. Are you kidding me? Um, Pepper Winters, Natasha Knight, like it's got, it's got a lot of authors in here and also it's like beautiful. Basically whenever I see anthologies like this I always try to grab them because generally a lot of my favorite authors will have 
stories featured in books like this. So I was very excited. Look at all of those authors listed on the side. It's very exciting. Okay, let's get back to some packages. Got another package from Penguin Random House, but this is obviously going to be Berkeley. That's who I work with, with uh, Penguin. So we have the new Jen McKinley book, which I'm so excited. This is called Wait For It. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the perfect summer book. Like, I think I want to read this and then jump into the Maple Leaf Harvest. Like, this might be my last, like, summery book, but look how cute it is. They're just floating in the pool. I also love Jen McKinley's, oh, what's it called? Um, it's like The Good Ones and The Christmas Keeper, The Happily Ever After Romances. I've read that series by her and I love it. They're always like super, super cute, but they do get steamy. They are not fade to black books, which I appreciate because they feel like they're going to be and then you get some spice on page and it's just, it's wonderful. Okay, so this one, let's read the little tiny blurb, not the whole synopsis, don't worry. Um, a woman looking for a new lease on life moves to Arizona where she rents a guest house on a gorgeous property with a mysterious owner. A man who teaches her about resilience, courage, and ultimately true love in this funny, big-hearted novel about hope and healing. Um, this sounds like a desert version of All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. Same type of concept where she's renting, like, a guest house from a really grumpy, mysterious man, and then they fall in love, and it's adorable, but this one's set in a desert. I am here for it. I don't want to wait for it. I want to read it right now. So, that's from Berkeley, and then in the same package, this book is so much bigger than I was expecting it to be! This is Say Goodbye by Karen Rose. Holy guacamole, look how big this is. Whoa, whoa. So obviously by the cover of this, this is still released by Berkeley, but I'm guessing this is gonna be romantic suspense. Uh, this is so big. I was not expecting this to be this huge. Eden faces a final reckoning when the cult's past victims hunt them down in this explosive high stakes thriller in the Sacramento series from the New York Times by selling Karen Rose. Wait a second, this is part series? Oh no, what's the rest of the series? Let me look it up. Okay, I just did so much research and got so overwhelmed. So, <laughs> this is indeed part of a series, but it's part of a really long series and part of like a sub-series of that series. It is technically part of the Romantic Suspense series, that's just what the series is called, number 25, but it's Sacramento number three. So, I think I just want to backtrack and read those th two books and then get to this one. Um, do I need, I think it said when I like, I think in the order form, I'm pretty sure it said that it could be read as a standalone, but this has something to do with a cult um, and a serial killer in book one of the Sacramento series. So I kind of want to read this now and I'm going to not look into the synopsis of this whatsoever because this is number three of a thriller series. Um, so I am excited. I mean, I've, I've heard the name Karen Rose. I didn't associate it with all of those other books that I just saw the covers for because this cover looks so different. Uh, I'm ridiculously excited for this now. I am going to pick up the first one. Hold on. The first one is called, um, let's see, Say You're Sorry, and then it's Say No More, and then Say Goodbye is number one, two, and three of Sacramento. But it's number 22, 24, and 25 of Romantic Suspense. But each of those books falls into a different like sub series where it's like different locations like all the different series are like a city name so we're just gonna stick with the sacramento ones if i'm wrong in that assumption please let me know uh but look at this junker of a book i'm excited to get to this now because um cults are another buzzword for me i will pretty much read anything involving a cult it doesn't matter what genre it is but if it's romantic suspense sign me up Alrighty, and lastly we got this package from source books i did crack it open i took a little peek see because i wanted to see what was in it but then i just kind of stuffed all the paper back in because there's a lot more than the books in this box so this is what we're looking at i saw like squiggles and i was like what what is this this is like an entire like marketing package for this book so this is a little like sell sheet in here see what over 130 million readers are swooning about um so this i let me get to the books real quick oh there's like oh i don't i don't think i've ever seen like a marketing card for the marketing people. Okay, so this package specifically is for the book Chasing Red by Isabel Ronin. Ronin. Ronin? Ronin. Um, which is a Wattpad phenomenon story. I know. But um, they also sent me Always Red, which I believe is, wait, which one's the new one? 
November. This is the first one. This is the new one then. So this was the first book that came out. This one came out in November of 2017. And this is the new one that is now available in print. Okay, so the tagline on the first one says, they said she was going to be my ruin, then let her ruin me. The actual synopsis is he had everything, wealth, adoration, a brilliant future, until one chance encounter changed everything. The moment Caleb Lockhart spotted the mysterious woman in her siren red dress, he couldn't tear his eyes away. For the first time in his life, he wanted something, something he knew he could never have. The unforgettable stranger he dubs Red. Um, so this is book one and book two. And also look at these spines. Oh, I'm so excited to read these. So I have mixed opinions on like the Wattpad author phenomenon because obviously like Fifty Shades of Grey and After swept the nation, but it put the romance genre back on the map for a lot of people. So whenever I see like Wattpad phenomenon authors being published in physical form, I want to support them regardless of like what the books are because I feel like it does wonders for the romance world. So we've got the tip in sheet for that. We have sparkly red tinselly stuff in here, but there's also other stuff in here. A bag of candy with a lollipop. It's like a promotional thing. There's also a bath bomb in here. There's, what is this? What is this? <gasps> Nail polish. I like the, the theme. Obviously the whole theme of this book is red. That's like what her nickname is because she was wearing the red dress. And then we get red things to go with the red books. I like their marketing department. It's pretty cool. So these two books, we'll just go in front there. Um, so I'm very excited to give those a shot, but that is going to conclude this massive haul. I think. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I've got. I'm looking around. I'm pretty sure that's all I've got for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me stuff, like companies and viewers alike. I love you guys so, so much. I hope I did the unboxing parts justice for you, and I'll see you guys in my next video.